Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins Part 59. I can't believe we're up to 59. That's crazy, crazy. But uh, ew, there's like totally flies on the toilet. Gross. Uh, Aria is feeling pretty angry this morning. She's woken up angry because you know what? Her sister's upset. Her son's gone. Kason's gone. He's taken the Ambrosia recipe and she is ready to interrogate Bella Goth at work because Bella Goth uh, is going to be put into jail or maybe she's already been put in jail and she's ready to go down to the station and to interrogate her and find out exactly where the Ambrosio recipe is uh, but she's probably been locked up because she's finally been charged for trying to keep uh, keep Laurie's little Jade at her house for so long oh let's just give our man a little bit of a hug <laughs> dare to streak no, thank you. But let's give him an embrace. Oh, okay, join. Okay, maybe, Eric, you don't want to be around Aria right now because she's part of scary. All right, Bella Goth, what are you doing, girl? Are you just sleeping? Well, guess what? It's time for you to wake up and get out of your cellar. Excuse me, ma'am. You need to quiet down, please. Quiet down in there. <laughs> My God, she sounds like a man, Linda Chapa. Oh, Avery's already uh, already taken care of it. That's good. Bella Goth is awake. Awesome. And let's release her from the cell. There we go. Alrighty, let's watch her come out. It's weird seeing Bella Goth all lock locked up. Oh my gosh, she looks really angry. See that strut? Let's uh, first of all do a rude introduction. Be like, do you know who I am, Bella Goth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's take a mugshot of her. Let her know who's boss and keep her on file because she's obviously going to have a criminal record for the rest of her life now. And uh, <laughs> she looks not very happy. Bella Goth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So funny. Uh, and then maybe rude introduction. You want to interrogate her a little bit. Figure out exactly what happened. Be like, so why do you have to have taken Jade and now Kaysen, my son? I'm definitely not going to flatter her. So we'll yell at her. And uh, insult. Just be... Very, very rude. Uh, and yell at. Bella Goth is eventually going to tell Arya uh, that Esmeralda has been brought back. And Arya is going to figure exactly out where Esmeralda may be. But I'd say she would have told Arya that Esmeralda was at the cemetery last. I mean, she knows she's going to be locked up anyway. So, you know what? Doesn't have much choice. <gasps> oh my gosh, Bella Goth! <sighs> wow, she's got a lot of nerve to do that to a police woman. Oh yeah, now we're super angry. Oh my gosh. I guess Ara's gonna have to figure out which cemetery. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh wow, this is like really intense. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Wow, okay, I'm surprised that this guy's like not doing anything. It's just like, yeah. Just another average day in the jet says, hey. Hey, blue. Oh, they now despise each other. Well, fair enough. Uh, fingerprint, please. She's like, I just wanted to go back to my family. And I was like, well, that's not happening anytime soon. And I'm going to go get Esmeralda. We'll get her soon, though. We're going to have to find her. And uh, when we do, I'm sure the girls are going to get, are going to want to get rid of her once and for all. Oh, where's she going? Is she uh, going back to it? Is she going to lock herself back into the cell? I want to lock her in, but I think she's already going there. 
<laughs> Look at her stomping around. She knows she can't get out of this now. I was like, thanks for the information, Bella. Enjoy your time in prison. In you go. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bella Guff. Bella, Bella Guff. I want to get a picture of her through the bars, but I don't think she's going to turn around. Turn around, Bella. We want to see your criminal face. Oh, there we go. Gotta love that snout. Snarl. <laughs> oh, I bet she's regretting getting uh, her revenge now. She brought back her own son. That's what you get. Being a noob. Okay, so maybe uh, we'll have a look at here. Did you see a new clue, maybe? And she can just be thinking about exactly how she and Laurie are going to get to Esmeralda, what they're going to do when they find her. And then when they do find her, the best way to get rid of her. Because this is something that might have to actually be solved outside of the law. You know, jail's not going to do it for Esmeralda. I'm pretty sure if they put her in jail, she would somehow like dig a hole in the jail cell and uh, escape. I think we've got the clues we need. Just checking up a couple of things on the net. What's going on, Aria? What have you found out? Hmm. I see she wants to go to Egypt. That's nice. Maybe she and Eric can head there later on. Uh, maybe file some paperwork. And not play games. She doesn't have time for that. Bella, I'm just, I just want to check you're still in here because I don't trust <laughs> Esmeralda hasn't let you out. You know what? Maybe let's search her as well because I want to see if she's got anything in her pocket that could be a little bit, uh, little bit of a worry. <clears throat> Any extra clues? We want to be thorough. We want to be definitely thorough. It's difficult when we're dazed though. I love this police station. I love the design of it. It looks like a real police station. Love that struck girl. Out she come, Bella Goff. Ooh, ooh, there's our picture through the, <laughs> the jail cell. Oh, yes. Wow, she looks kind of remorseful. Mortimo should probably follow her in for fraud because they have a lot of money. She should really handcuff Bella. I'm actually not surprised that she kicked up such a fuss before because she's an angry lady, that's for sure. A hammer? That was probably trying to dig out of a cell. Handcuffs? Oh my gosh! I'm glad we searched her because she was really trying to get out. It's like, do you feel better now, Ira? Yes, we do. What a fish! Just in case she gets hungry. <laughs> oh, a doll. Probably Jade's old doll because Bella's a freak. And uh, there we go. Now we can put her in the jail cell once and for all. And then I reckon it's about time to search for Esmeralda. Back underground at the cemetery in the graveyard keepers area underneath the tomb, Esmeralda has been hanging out here in her eerie red silk dress waiting to make a wish with the wishing well because she is alive she's no longer a ghost she wants to be the most beautiful person there there ever was or the most beautiful stunning sim there ever was in the world because that way if her wish comes true she will always be able to convince someone or seduce someone for a lot of money she'll always get away so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go get her to make a wish with the wishing well so i reckon what we'll do is make an offering to begin with Mm. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I reckon her wish might just come true. So let's go here. Maybe we should make another offering just to be sure. Just to make sure everything's okay. Come on, Esmeralda. It's probably how she speaks. No, not really. That's creepy. Creepy. Okay. And then let's 
do the wish. Make a wish for youthful vigour.
Oh my goodness, you guys, that is the end. That's the end of Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins. I cannot believe it is over. Uh, but you know what? This is season one. You never know if there'll be a season two or if there'll be a spin-off. I'm not saying anytime soon, but there could be. So I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this series. This has been my favorite Let's Play ever. And a few of you guys were asking, why did you finish it? And the reason is because I wanted to end the story on a really strong note and I had this storyline in my head and I really wanted us to get there and if you guys were confused, basically at the end of this story Esmeralda uh, went to the wishing well and asked to be the most beautiful and youthful woman in or sim in the world and she went back down to a young adult and she was all transformed to be amazing looking, supposedly. And then uh, the girls found out where she was after interrogating Bella Goth and they ran down into the dungeon and Laurie killed her using a voodoo doll from anger. She died of anger from Laurie making the voodoo doll make her angry. So kind of like stabbing the doll stabbed Esmeralda and she died. Uh, and then of course we had two years later where a much happier story was happening where Arya uh, was able to bring Lionel into their household. So he was able to live with all the family at Arya's house. Arya and Eric had a biological child because they had adopted children and um, one of those adopted children, well, both children came through the wishing well, and one of those children were evil, Kaysen, due to the well being evil to them. So that's what happened for Arya and Eric. Laurie ended up being best friends with her daughter, Jade. They grow up really happily together. And I was gonna get her a man, but then I thought, you know what? She doesn't need a man. She has this beautiful daughter that she's gonna be happy with and you never know where the story will go. And if you guys want to play with the characters, I'll upload them tomorrow so I don't spoil the storyline for anyone. Um, but yeah, you can find a lover for Lori or maybe she'll just be a strong independent woman, you know? I just thought that her as a single mom was a good way for her to end in a happy place. Then we had, <laughs> oh gosh, then we had uh, Thorn propose to Maya, or Maya, and he proposed, she said yes, and they had a wedding where Lionel played the piano, and after the wedding, where everyone was, he then brought his long lost brother Max back to life by making another Ambrosia recipe that was stolen by Kaysen. Kaysen, we're gonna say, went to a children's jail where he had to learn to be a good boy because he was pure evil and he had to learn. So that's pretty much how the story ended and I hope you guys are happy with it. And please, please, please comment your favorite parts of this LP. Just share your memories with me. I'm gonna read through all of them. I cannot wait to wake up because it's actually pretty late. It's 10 to one in the morning, but it was worth it because I just really, really love this LP and I wanted to edit it and find all the screenshots and there were so many screenshots. Oh, it was crazy. Um, but right now in the screenshots, we're up to the part where Esmeralda was about to kill Niles in the dungeon with her cow plants, which was pretty sad because Niles was actually the father of Max and Thorn, even though Lionel thought he was. And Esmeralda, being the evil woman she is, killed off Niles because he was going to tell Lionel that, or he was gonna run away with the kids and just leave Esmeralda and their grand plan to get Lionel's fortune by himself. But Arya right now, looking at the maps on the wall, she's kind of figuring out what's going on and she spoke to Laurie and her dad and Laurie was outraged. So they came up with this plan to kind of lure Esmeralda into a massage and then kind of convinced her to go have a steam in the steam room where she actually died for the first time round. <laughs> and Arya was pretty excited calling everyone on the phone. And then Maya came along because Maya moved into the girl's old house with her family of ghosts. And her family actually took away the girl's fortune but Arya ran into the beautiful Eric and they ended up getting together while Laurie ended up being pregnant and she was kind of falling for Bryce, but her baby daddy 
was Alexander Goth. So when she went to the hospital, I don't think Alexander was even there, but Arya was there and Arya so wanted to be there for her sister, but at the same time, she so wanted to have a child after she saw Laurie with Jade. So Arya and Eric, who were both just wanting to be parents, as you can see in this screenshot, got married and then they went on a honeymoon and well, she got this really nice hug from her dad because Lionel actually attended the wedding. Uh, oh, and Laurie here with uh, Cassandra Goth, which is kind of weird, and the two girls together uh, after Arya's wedding. But on their honeymoon, they did try for a baby and they realized Arya was not able to have kids, which was pretty upsetting for her. And even though it was a pretty nice getaway, meanwhile, while they're on the honeymoon, Laurie was not getting along with Alexander Goth he was cheating on her with Kendall, and Kendall ended up being pregnant as well. Drama! <laughs> and so, um, Laurie, even though she had baby Jade at home with Alexander, realized that she needed to do something about it. She met Arya in the secret garden, and Arya was in the secret garden because she wanted to wish for kids. So she wished from the well, and she got one perfect healthy son just here who ended up with her in the end um, but then a second wish turned out with the evil son and this is where Kaysen came along and that was kind of the wishing well's uh, cost of getting a good child you get a bad child too at this point after speaking with Arya Laurie went back to the goths and she was kicked out by Alexander's mum Bella and she held on to Jade so Laurie went running to Bryce, who was madly in love with her, but he had, he was a drug dealer. So he was dealing uh, the essence of life by killing Sims with cow plants, which Laurie didn't like. He also gave Arya a little bit of a makeover at this point. She was looking good, going back to her natural roots, literally. And uh, Maya and Thorn decided to get together to try and make an ambrosia to bring back Max around this stage. So they went fishing for angelfish, they went looking for plants to splice to get all of the ingredients, and Bryce really was getting pretty head over heels for Laurie. So he decided he would go to the Goth's house in the middle of the night and set the house on fire, which killed Alexander Goth, and he stole back baby Jade back home to Laurie. Of course, the Goths were pretty upset about that, and they knew who had done it. Um, but Laurie was happy because she had her beautiful daughter back, She's pretty angry at Bryce though at the same time because she didn't want to deal with it that way. Um, but she had Jade back. Jade was much more happy with Laurie and they went back to Arya's where she was safe. So Bella Goth decided to get revenge on Laurie and on, oh, sorry, Bryce. So she got Esmeralda to kill Bryce and uh, Arya then got Bella Goth into jail and Bella Goth told her where Esmeralda would be. And that is how we got to the end of this LP. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you are having a great time. I hope you've enjoyed this LP as much as I have. I can't wait to bring you more content, more exciting LPs, whether or not it's a spin-off of this or something completely different. But thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.